we're now going to focus on the uh, edit feature of, uh, of our product. And notice there are actually two um, controller methods. I'm looking at my product controller. Uh, there is one called edit and another one called edit. Uh, they're the same name. Uh, they do have different signatures, however. This uh, provides uh, a single product ID, which we're, we've already used to uh, get our product, and go to a view. This one has a product ID, but it also has a uh, collection, which is of type form collection. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with um, HTML uh, verbs, but when um, when a browser makes a request, it uses the uh, HTTP GET command. Um, and when um, a page on the server wants to talk to another page on the server, it uses HTT POST, HTTP POST. So uh, these are very uh, two very different methods. This is invoked by the user selecting the edit uh, action from the product controller. And uh, this is invoked internally from actually the view page when the form that the user uh, fills out is submitted back um, to the server. Uh, notice that although they have different names, uh, the fact that uh, they have different signatures differentiates them and allows the system to decide which one to call. Also be aware that if they had identical signatures, if they have a different um, uh, attribute, uh, this has the post attribute, uh, then that would also uh, add to a differentiating factor as far as the system knowing which ones to call. So we've already written this one, so we need to write the view associated with the edit, um, and then we need to write some code down here. So let's handle the first thing first. Let's go to our views and go to our product and add a view there. Um, so we're going to add a view. This is going to be a view called edit and we are going to still be working with the product. We're dealing here with um, the edit content. Same master page. So I'll go ahead and click on, on add for that. And notice um, we have some things here uh, at the beginning we didn't see before. The first is an HTML helper method called validate summary. Uh, this is equivalent to the uh, ASP.NET little um, error summary validation thingy that shows up at the top of a form where all the errors are listed and then we see um, an asterisk or something like this asterisk next to the offending field. Well, that's what a validate summary uh, is. And we also see uh, HTML helper called begin form. Now, um, there is an HTML um, form tag, which you may have used. Uh, it has a, an, uh, a property called submit, and you tell it what you would like the form submitted to. In our case, this, uh, this using HTML.beginForm is associated with a statement down at the bottom, which is the uh, end form which is uh, somewhere here. It's the end using here. So begin using and end using. So let me go back up here. Begin using and end using. Um, and then we have um, uh, a series of uh, text boxes and validation mes uh, message uh, HTML helper methods. So let's talk a little bit about those. Um, the, the text box is a text box and uh, it will uh, be given an identifier called product ID and it will uh, be bound to the product ID of the model. The model again is a single uh, product. Um, why is it a single product? Let's remember how we do that. Let's go back to the product controller. Notice that we're sending a single product in so that defines what the model is. Coming back um, in addition to the text box, there's a, a validation message, um, which is again linked to the product ID. Um, and if we have a little asterisk out here, that means that it's linked up to this validation summary. Or we can put a more meaningful message out here if we would like to just show the message itself. So we have this combination of text box and validate, uh, validation message uh, for each of our um, 
fields or properties in our product uh, entity. Now the user shouldn't be able to modify the product ID so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to comment uh, that particular uh, dude out of here. So I'll find my, uh, there it is up there, comment that out. Um, but the rest of the things we'll go ahead and let them modify. Um, this helper method, this begin form helper method, knows where it came from. In other words, it knows it came from the details, uh, excuse me, from the edit action method in the controller. So it will automatically post back, um, post back to uh, the, the, the product edit uh, and provide this information back here. Now, what will this collection contain? This collection will ta contain a series of name value pairs. Uh, the names will be uh, the actual name, product name, for example, and the value will be the value in the text box. So it, it returns back all of these values for us in name value pairs. Um, let's go ahead and run this and see what we have so far. Okay, we'll come up here and go to product. Um, and that will bring up the index method, uh, action method of the uh, product controller. And let's go to edit on um, this first product here. Notice down below it's going to the, um, the product controller and the edit method. And because it's coming from the browser, it's going to be a get, HTML get, HTTP, excuse me, get. And now we see that we have the fields here. Um, we have a save command which causes the, the uh, form to be submitted. And so uh, let's go ahead and change this. Change this to uh, something like space XXX. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and click on save. Notice it goes back to product uh, controller edit. But this is going to be a post. So it's going to go to the procedure we haven't filled out yet. Because we ha haven't filled it out, it won't do anything. And so we're back, and notice we don't have a change in the name. So uh, we, need to, we need to fill out the, uh, the post version um, of this edit action. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to the product controller. And here's the post method. Now I have some code uh, that I'd like to paste here and talk about. See if it's there. Lucky me, it's there. So what am I doing here? The first thing I'm doing is I'm using the ID of the product that came back through the post. I'm using that 